Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. Now let's fall down and go to the next Team Star base, I guess. Although, we, I guess we could explore a little bit of this area here as well, but... I don't know, I'll come back, maybe. I, I definitely won't forget that one trainer there. Maybe. I'm starting to doubt myself. It's probably not a good sign. But anyway. Whee! Also, there's an extra platform there that I didn't see. Another thing that I'm probably going to forget and never come back to. I mean, I might come back to it. But the the odds are very low. Anyway, let me see. Do I need to peel? I guess I will. Just to make sure. Everything's up to where it's meant to be. Just like that. Now let's go to the next base, which I should probably check the type first before going in. Since we can tell from the map. Uh, it's a dark type. I don't know what's effective against dark type. So it's probably going to be fine. I think... Possibly not psychic. But that's okay. I want to take... Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of okay with this for the moment. Probably, probably will be fine. I need to level up all my, all my Pokemon anyway, so... Let's take a look at this. As best we can. Obviously, you can see that the road is blocked, but you can also just go right down this slope and just walk into the city there, so... Don't have to actually do this if you don't want to. But you probably should anyway, so... Jeremy! Uh, hi there, Clive! Glad to see you got my name committed to memory. Now, let's pick up our conversation from where we left off before. As I mentioned, I joined Operation Starfall to resolve a sticky situation and find out the reasons behind Team Star's odd behavior. Above all, I want to know why my, uh, I mean, why the students in the Team Star have stopped coming out to school. And just like Cassiopeia, I want the team to disband for good. Since joining Operation Starfall with you, I've already had some success in opening up a dialogue with Team Star, and I think I'm starting to understand things more clearly. But I don't have enough information just yet. That's why I, I want to speak with the students from Team Star's other squads as well. If you intend to take on another base, know that you can count on me for backup. Till then, see you around, Jeremy. Okay, bye. He's gone. Also, it puts us all the way down here. All the way. It's a long way from where we were just standing while I was trying to get an item. It's fine. I need the Great Bowl. I need it. What do you have to say? Nope, you can't get past here. If you got any complaints, take them out with the base. I, I can literally just go around. I have already before. On another profile, just, just to go around to see if I could. And turns out... You can. Whoa, hello. I don't think I've caught you yet. Just because the only one of you I've seen is the Titan Pokemon, so... Bombardier. Uh, how do I... Ah, uh, not with this Pokemon is the answer to my question. Guess I'll just throw a ball. Go, Ultra Ball! One? Nope. Well, that's a shame. Whirlwind. But it failed. Cool. Ah, uh, take two. I have- I do have a Timer Ball, but I'm not sure if that's a great plan. Premier Ball! Because it is gonna be about the same as a regular Pokeball. One, two, three. Oh, it was so close, too. Rock throw. It's fine. Premier Ball again. Take that. Nope, that didn't work. Also, well, the grass was gone for a second, but that's okay. Whirlwind, but it failed. Ultra Ball. Surely. Nope. Hone Claws, raises its attack. And accuracy. 
Oh, triple? Maybe? This is taking a while. One? Nope, okay, I'm gonna just time a ball this now. Whirlwind. But it failed. Okay, time a ball, let's go. It's the, the only option at this point that makes sense. One, two. Now that is just rude. That's just rude. That's just plain rude. Ah, 50 Ultra Balls, let's go. That's all, that's what it's gonna take. I don't have that many, so. Cool. Rock throw again. It's a shame that I just healed. I just healed. Stop breaking free. Please. This is my weakest Pokemon. It doesn't have any moves that affect you, so. Own Claws. I need to check the abilities of my Pokemon because that's something else that I need to keep in mind when building a team. Is the abilities that my Pokemon have. Oh my goodness. I don't want to give up on you though. I don't want to give up on this Pokemon. I've made it this far. Um, I feel like I'm just going to kill it with whatever I do. Let me try this and see if this will paralyze it because that might help. But it might not. Rock throw. It's not very effective. Please Ultra Ball. Nope. Cool. Ah! This is harder than the, the boss. Not very effective. Why is catching Pokemon so difficult? I don't understand. I'm gonna run out of Ultra Balls. This is very sad. One? Nope. Cool. It appeared to be caught. And my timer ball is gone, so I can't just use that now. One. Ah. Can I do something? Like anything? Uh, not very effective, maybe. Okay, I can I can probably use that. Flinched and couldn't move. Thank goodness. Please don't get a critical hit. Thank you. This is frustrating. <laughs> Trying to catch a Pokemon with a low catch rate. Okay, Ultra Ball now. One, two, three. Ah, I just want to catch a Pokemon. I, I'm right next to the Team Star Base. Let me go. Do it, please. Please. One, two, three, thank you. I'm glad that I spent so much time on that. Ah. I'm fine. Flying duck. That's all right. I'm, I'm considering. Because I don't think I have a flying Pokemon on my team. So that might actually be a good one in place of uh, the other one that I put on my team that hasn't actually got a dual type. I'm tempted. <laughs> if it's that difficult to catch, it might be good. I don't know. It's fine. Whoa, whoa! Hold it, you! Up heads the base of operation of, of operations for Team Star's Dark Crew. You may know us as the second squad. Yup, and we don't take too kindly to random kids sniffing around our turf. Sorry, but if you don't turn yourself around here, amigo, we'll have to send you packing. Wait, hold up. 
just going on a hunch here, but are you that Jeremy kid? You know, that piece of work we're out to get uh, for declaring war on Team Star? Maybe I am. Maybe I am, he says, cool as a cucumber. Honestly, not always the best policy, you know. Ah, uh, you know what? Doesn't matter who you are, you're not getting through. Buzz off or, or get thrashed by me in battle, kid. What'll it be? I'll get you out of your. I'll, 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 I'll get out of your hat. No, <laughs> I'll take you on. Grah, sassy kid. You're l like you are the worst. That's it. Prepare f to get stomped into the dirt. Okay, is this a dual battle? No. I just want a, a dual battle. That's all I want. Sent out Murkrow. I guess now's a good time to find out what is effective against Dark, so... Fairies! And that seems like the best option that I'm, I'm gonna have, so... Nice little heal. Why did such a sassy kid have to be so strong? Ah, uh, because I'm overleveled. I'm a completionist, that's why I'm so powerful. Grah, how the heck could I lose? Well, whatever, it's your problem now. Finish up, here for me, would you, bud? Okay, thanks. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. She's new to the team, you know. Might have to have a little chat with her about that attitude. <sighs> well, I'm gonna ha go, go, gonna go into the base now and give the rest of the squad the heads up. You're free to go, come in if you want. I'll even give you a beer or something on the way out. We'll come at you full force if you set foot inside, so you might want to consider turning tail. It's not that bad, though. <laughs> Either way, best of luck to you, amigo. Hasta la vista. We're going to be friends after this. It's the beginning of a long friendship. I see you took care of the guards. Nice work. Now, hold up in that base is Team Star's Dark Crew, the second squad. Their boss, uh, Gar Como, pretty much runs the whole t of Team Star. And he is... Uh, he also... Produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. He's a sharp guy. Even our declaration of war won't have ruffled him against... Ruffled him in the slightest. I don't know where I'm getting these extra words from. His plan is probably to weigh you down with a wave of grunts. Then finish you off himself. No use trying to outthink strategist types like him. Bring him down with a head on attack. Just keep on defending as many Pokemon... Or defeating as many Pokemon as you can, until the big man himself shows up. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off the, this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the second squad off the map. True dat. So let's turn the camera all the way around and go get this item. Grab. Also, there's no gimmick all this time, which is nice. It was so weird being able to hear that, but not actually be able to do anything about it. Uh, I'm pretty confident. Beep! Seems like the folks operate- uh, hang on, I have a better idea. Just let me finish my tea quickly. Seems the folks behind Operation Star's full. Uh, finally uh, making a move against our base. You know what that means, gang. Time for us to shine bright and, and avenge our teammates. And hey, little intruder, just so you know, if you got the skills to defeat 30 of our, poke uh, of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, sorry, but these notes are very hard to read, uh, our boss might deem you worthy to meet in person. Hard break a leg. Okay, bye. Yeah, that's, that's, that's just me talking into a cup. 
That's just me talking to my mug. That's why I was drinking my tea. So I could talk into my mug and make it sound a little bit muffled. I hope that sounded better than <laughs> than in real life. Because that'd be that'd be good if it did. I'm looking forward to editing this, although I have like 20 episodes to edit still. <laughs> ah, why aren't you fighting? Fight them. <laughs> What's going on with my Pokemon? I don't know. Anyway, we have 10 minutes again. So, uh, I, I, it feels like this isn't very difficult to do these. But it's, I think it's more of a test to make sure that your Pokemon actually leveled up enough to take on the boss. It's not supposed to be difficult in this first phase. It's just making sure you're ready for the rest. Why can't I send out my Pokemon? There we go. That's better. I kind of want to go up, but also I can just go in any direction because there's just more than enough. Please let me send you out. Recall Pokemon, send out. That works. I'm assuming there's some up there. I don't think I need to, though. Because of how many there are. But I want to go up and look down on my enemies or something. Get him. All three. Okay, we're almost there. Just need a bit more. Okay. Get these. They're not even that spread out. Since they always are in groups of two or three. And that seems like that's it. <laughs> Go get the number 32 over there in the distance. He's way above our level. We gotta get up, get the boss. I kind of like that they all have one of these with a different type. Boss of Team Stars Dark Crew, Garkomo. You've done a real number on us, Putty Crasher, Jeremy, was it? I'm Garkomo, at the deck. I go by DJ Vice. Call me what, whichever, call me whichever, it's a vibe either way. Nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip straight into, straight to your outro. Don't worry, I'll play your sick Requiem as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started. Okay. Now, another question I have is, what type does my thing terrestrialize into? I think it's Psychic, not Fairy. This is a- this is a good song. I'm- I'm really enjoying it. You really- I don't really think this is uh, things are- we could kind of want to sorry, okay. I really should have been reading that before I- yeah, it's fine. Trust lies is- yeah. It does make the other stuff glow, but it highlights the ones that are going to be extra effective. Anyway. Dazzling Gleam! Well, that worked. Rev of Room. Time to end uh, up the tempo. This show ain't over yet. Okay. Well, here we go. Ha! Huh. How's that for an opening track? I'll spin you up good, Party Crasher. Okay. How about that? It's super effective one shot. Oh, beautiful. I should have been here before the other base, probably. It's odd that it didn't scale as much as I thought it would. Depending on how many Team Star badges you have. Oh well. Guess that's that. He looks so sad. It's fine, I just crushed his dreams or something. About a year and a half ago. 
Guess that's that. What's up, guy, uh, Como? Did something happen? The big boss just wanted to me uh, my take on stuff, so we had a chat and settled on a few plans. A few plans? Like for what? Operation Star, first of all, and also a new code of conduct for the team. You know, how tons of new members have joined up recently? Well, we figure we gotta make some team rules, like a code, so we'll all be on the same page. Nice! You'll come up with great codes for us, won't you, Gaikomo? Ha, huh, no thanks. Way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be president of the student council, but you know how everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Of course we know. You forced a ton of stuffy rules on everyone, and they didn't take- then they wouldn't take it. We got some other nerd to replace you after, like, five minutes. I uh, cannot help but concur. Male students' hair must stray no further than 1.8 inches below the, the nape, and so forth. Your rules were vexation made manifest. My point exactly, so you all, you'll all agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code. But you uh, always know what's best for the team, Guy Como. You look, at, uh, out, you look out for us. You earned our trust many times over. Without you, Team Star just wouldn't work. That stuck up student council prayers isn't who you are anymore, man. A code written by the guy Como I'm looking at now, I'd follow that any day. As would I. Okay, okay. Thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write up the darn code. I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself, and there's no going back on it now. My days as a boss are over. So here, take my star badge, would ya? Nice. I'll give you this choice, TM... Uh, TM2. You earned it, fair and square. TM62, foul play. Ha, ah, so this is how the party ends. But let's talk about those Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong, huh? You learn those trainer chops at the academy? Like, what moves should you, uh, you, you should use and stuff? Uh, sure did. Ha, huh, okay. You like it at the academy? Having fun? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. No kidding. Sorry to interrupt, but are you, uh, Gaia Como? Whoa ho! Wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. You get a Quaxwell to style that up for you. I'm just after a quick word. Would you mind? Sure. I can tell it's gonna be something annoying, but I guess I'm nearly freed up for time. Thanks. I'll get straight into it. It seems all of you and Team Star are headed for expulsion if you keep up your current activities. So why won't you break up the team and start attending class at the academy again? That's what you want to know? As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal. Though we don't know if they'll, they'll be coming back. A pal? A close friend of yours, are they? They're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like how there's a top champion who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the one who invited us other bosses uh, to, to form the team. We call them the Big Boss. And where is the, this Big Boss of yours now? Wouldn't we like to know? We haven't heard from him in... I don't know. Must be a year and a half now. We thought that if we kept Team Star going, then they'd get back in touch one day. But the teachers keep pressing us to call it quits. And then we get party crashes like you two. Maybe the big botch. <laughs> Hang on, I'm mixing the words again, from later in the sentence. Maybe the big boss did ca di <laughs> did again ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So Team Star and this big boss of yours, they're really that important to you? 
Hand is the sky blue. Let me put it into words, you eggheads. Ah, uh, at the academy you might understand. They're my greatest treasure. It's three down, two to go. That's pretty good. Jeremy, it's me. Garkomo's star badge is now yours, then. I see. With its boss out of the picture, the second squad is pretty much done for. Now, Garkomo, too. Sorry, I've got a lot on my mind right now. So, Operation Starfall, you've taken down all but two bases. So, it's fair to say it's going well. This seems like a good time to let you know what we're ultimately aiming to achieve. Our final goal is to defeat the mastermind that first rec recruited the five squad bosses and created Team Star. The one they call the Big Boss. What's, th what's this person like? Who knows, they control the five squad bosses from the shadows. That's all anyone can say. If we defeat this person and get them to declare the team disbanded, That'll be it for Team Star. Since the Big Boss never set up their own base, and keeps their identity hidden, I take it they're not one for the spotlight. But once all the squad bosses are out of action, the Big Boss will finally have to take the stage. Now, about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. 7,000. Beautiful. You can now make more t kinds of TMs using the TM machine. Have your Pokemon learned strong moves so that they can continue to be of use t to the operation. My supply unit rep should be with you soon. H hey there, Jeremy. That, uh, sounded like a pretty serious phone call. Hua, I wasn't talking to you. Yag. Excuse me, guys. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave, please. Please, we're trying to pack up our tent right now. So that mastermind you were talking about, Cassiopeia's mentioned them to me too. Team Star's founder, the person who ca who's caused all kinds of misery at the Academy. If we don't take them down, down, I'll lose what I treasure the most in the world. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, no, I just... Um, that's right. You need your reward. Here. Take it before I forget. Received lots of Pokemon materials. Alright. Well, I'll be off then. Oh, and Jeremy, don't lose to those guys. We can still see you out there. Please leave. It's fine. I'm gonna probably do that again, maybe. I need to actually find out how that actually sounds. How clear it actually is. Anyway, we can go to the next city now. The last one, basically. Out of the three cities. So let's go ahead and do that. Also, hello, trainer, randomly on the side of the road. But here we are. In Cass. Caraf. Carafa. Carafa. Uh, yeah. Cascarafa. Cascarafa is... They call Cascarafa the city of water. I'm sure you can see why. I mean, there is water. Anyway, I'm probably gonna... Just heal my Pokemon. I don't know if I need to, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh. Also, I hear that Gimme Ghoul. I hear it. 
I heard the cling of its coin. Where is it? Where indeed? Oh, there it is. On this side. Thank you for the coin. But anyway, I think that's probably it for now. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.